Hey friends, it's Miss Johnson. So I have a really cool story for y'all. Right now I am stuck inside my apartment. It is cold outside. It is raining. I'd really like to go for a walk, but it is raining and cold. And so I have to sit here and think of something else to do. So I thought I could make the most of my time and read y'all this really cool story. Um, and it's a really good rainy day story because it takes us to, takes the reader to a lot of cool and interesting places. So before we get started, I want to ask the question, if you could go anywhere right now, where would you go? Anywhere in the world, where would you go? All right, ready? Okay, so the name of this story is called Everywhere Wonder. It's written by Matthew Swanson and illustrated by Robbie Bear. I have a story to share. It is a little gift from me to you. You might not know it but you have a story too. You'll find it in the things you stop to notice. The world is full of people and places and things, all of them interesting, all of them beautiful. You never know what you might see or where you might, or where your mind might take you. So keep your eyes wide open as you go. In Egypt, there are pyramids. In Arizona, there are canyons. I know many of you have been to Arizona. I have actually never been to Arizona. In the jungles of Brazil are leaves so plentiful and green that light can barely reach the ground below. In the high hills of Japan are gardens full of wind-worn rocks and clean white sand, but not a single flower. In Kenya, there are hot, dry savannas filled with zebras, and blue wildebeest. All right, a little a little trivia for y'all. I where is what continent is the country of Kenya? What continent is this is the country of Kenya? I'll give you a hint. Our friend Rory went to this same continent in December. Okay? I'll leave you with that question. In Alaska, there are cold, wet waters filled with seals and sockeye salmon. I love salmon. In the middle of the Coral Sea, there is a roaring storm that no one will ever hear. On the near side of the moon, there is a quiet footprint that no rains will ever wash away. Another trivia question, who, whose footprint is this? What is the name of the astronaut who made this footprint on the moon? I bet some of you know. In Sheboygan, there is a tractor mechanic named Shirley who has 37 friends. On the North Pole, there is a cold and lonesome bear wishing for some company. You want to go see him, of course, to let him know he's not alone, but your bike won't get you there and back by bedtime.
Still, you noticed him, didn't you? He walked off his page and into your head. Now he is part of your story. There are other wonders yet to find, not so far from where you are right now. They too are interesting. They too are beautiful. Stop to really look and you will see them. In the highest part of the tree is an unexpected gift, a blue balloon that must have slipped from someone's fingers. In the deepest part of the pool is sunken treasure, a shiny dime that must have tumbled from someone's pocket. Will you save it or spend it or leave it there for someone else to find? In the grocery store are aisles and shelves and stacks of cans. You have to look so carefully to find the one you want. In your bowl of steaming soup is just one noodle that doesn't match the others. Where do you think it came from? This soup to me looks like something that I used to enjoy called SpaghettiOs. Give me a thumbs up if you have ever eaten SpaghettiOs because they're really good. And I kind of wish I had some now. On the playground is a sturdy line of bright black ants carrying their supper home. Under the bridge is a gently rolling river floating a blue glass bottle out to sea. Perhaps it holds a message. What does it say? Who could it be for? In the busy town are sidewalks full of swiftly moving people who somehow never seem to collide. Oh, wow, what a pretty picture. In the quiet countryside, are miles of open, empty roads that somehow never seem to end. Where do they go? Someday, you might find out. In the hallway is a spotted dog that turns golden as the sun sets through the window. In the bedroom is a doorknob that makes rainbows when the reading light when the reading lamp clicks on. Now the lamp is off and the moon is up. You close your eyes and see them again. The things you notice today, all of these things together are your story. Dream with them a while. When you wake up in the morning, Open your eyes and open your window and let your story out into the world. It is a little gift from you to me. Now my story is complete, but yours is just beginning. The end. <laughs>